to Do Better Podcast. I am your host, Theodore Cooper, Commander-in-Chief of the Do Better Squad. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the goddamn like button. It's free. Back with another video this time from Corey Holcomb. Let's get to it. Well, this is a fact. Ben and J-Lo was in a relationship a while ago, right? Right. Yeah, something crazy, like 12 or 15 years ago. Then he like circled back. They both did, I think, yeah. Yeah, he circled back because he's the bigger star. And he took a chance with her. Who do you think is the bigger star? That's Oof. tough. That's tough when I know. Cause I she mean, he's does done both. Batman. What has she done? No, but she does yeah. movies and music. And initially off top, I think I will agree with Corey. I'm thinking like Ben Affleck is obviously the biggest star. But I think J-Lo is bigger internationally. I could be wrong. I think we'll find out. She's done movies and music, but is it is it like half music and half or time, something? But who, who you think is the bigger star? I mean, do you know what Ben Affleck has done in Hollywood? J Lo Lo's a motherfucker on that. Man. Okay, so let's say they half and run. half. Yeah. It I mean, ain't J half and half because he's a white man. That's what I'm saying. So he got more power oh, for there you sure. Go. That bitch is now. allowed in certain places now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's oh, that's your okay, we'll bring the bitch. You know what I'm, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm just saying that's how it really go. That's real shit. Yeah. J Lo is a Hispanic woman. Yeah. Anyway, this video says a lot. Watch when he closed his car door. Watch when he closed his car door. Watch this. <laughs> well, wait now. All right, all right, hold on. Right here. Watch, look at, look at that face. But he always has, a, you know, that's a reason. Look at that face. You know, that's a thing lately. They, ever, they were talking about that face. He's actually Somebody say Ben is definitely the big, big, bigger star. So they saying she got more money. Probably. They saying not. she got more money. That's what they saying. They're, they're the reverse uh, Lucille Ball. Where does she have more money than Ben Affleck? That's what Ben Affleck. She, what she got definitely. I mean, I'm saying like music that you you think she's getting her royalties like that in music? She's an international Je star. Je Jennifer Lopez does all right. She does great, in fact. Yeah, and then she does a but lot of other things on the we're side. We're talking about too. Caucasian male Ben Affleck. He'll be in movies until like he's like Willem Dafoe. Wait though, <laughs> yeah. so they're going to work. But he also has ex-wives and kids, so or wife and kids, so he's paying for that too. He's also producing, and you know, he's doing yeah. more than just acting. He's behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. Well, anyway, regardless. I want to speak on the situation he's in. Can you play that video one more time so that all of the truck drivers who watch my show, all of the people with common sense who watch my show can be reminded of what happens when you double back to failure? Because here's the truth. Here's the truth, man. We don't know how to pick no bra. We always think we can, look at that. We always think we can make the best. Right. Out of damaged shit. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying he's not damaged because just like most men, you're you're damaged. Right. But what I want to let you know is this: you cannot fix a damaged bitch. You have to find a bitch that's not damaged like that. What if you damage her? If you damage her, then claim that. Claim that. You gotta, I did that to her. Because yeah. that's what we're taught to believe. Right. But if you got a bitch that's damaged, trust me, that bitch is going to continue that the whole time you with her. You have not been taught in school or by your single mother to go out and find a woman who is worth your time. You always wind up with the woman that you say, fuck it, I'm going to be with her. Mm. That's that's who you're with. Right. Even at the level of Ben Affleck, all his movie making, acting, producing, all that, you still wound up with Alex Rodriguez, ex bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, <laughs> Puff Daddy, Jenny off the block. What what Jamie Foxx say? We didn't yeah. know about J Lo. What we called her? Hey ho, hey ho, hey, Brad Pitt, Brad oh, Pitt, old bitch too. Hey, Brad Pitt. Uh, a lot of motherfuckers that pass that around. They live in color. Oh, I don't yeah. think Brad Pitt did. What's with Brad, what with Brad Pitt? I don't know who fucked her all. I know she was at Puffy House at the pool, damn near naked. Yeah. And security was at the bit. Yeah. I mean, I hit his shit. Because, see, if you're not Puff Daddy, you're going to have baby mama problems. Nobody says that either. That's I don't good. want no shit. I don't want no drama. But Puff Daddy, the only nigga I know who fixed all that shit. That nigga, yeah, that nigga, <laughs> don't nobody that say that shit. Pop daddy right? ain't got baby mama problems, dude. <laughs> no, he get rid of his. I mean, all the motherfuckers that he, oh, Puffy, that shit get fixed. But 
What I'm saying is this. Puffy the coldest gangster in the industry. That's what I'm saying. Period. He can't have nothing but respect for him. I ain't saying it's respect, but I am aware that if you got problems with Puffy, Puff, be gone. <laughs> gone. Yeah. But Co- Corey. That's why they call him Puff a, Daddy. From a young player to a, uh, to a more I take OG. Player. Go ahead. Is it the goal of every man to break a bitch down and then build her back up to what he wants her to be? It's no use in having a woman that has all this outside confidence and all this glorious shit about her. You got to break her down to where you want her to be for her to be acceptable into your life, right? What the fuck is Craig talking about? You can't just Well, let me say this, Craig. Breaking her down ain't necessary. Sometimes it is. Like, if you trying to take on some damage shit, you got to erase that bitch whole way of thinking. Right. Because she grew up around situations that make it impossible for her to be productive with a male partner. Right, right, right. Look at D. <laughs> <laughs> give me the finger, right? Oh, okay. No, I'm just saying, it's no. like... Go ahead, do you want to say something? No, I don't, no, I, I'm just saying, it's like being... The OG I am now, I thank God that I am aware of what I've been through. That tape I played a couple of weeks of Dr. Dre say he free. This is the first time in my life that I'm experiencing true freedom, free from a relationship. I don't need to make money. I don't have to work if I don't want to. I can work when I want to. All of my kids are grown, so I'm not a slave to my kids. I'm not a slave to a job. Just celebrated my 57th birthday. For the first time in my entire life, I'm completely fucking free. It's an amazing feeling. I feel sorry for you married motherfuckers right now. Homie, let me tell you something, man. I, man, look, I ain't made no choices with no right bitches. I tried to fix damaged bitches and paid for it. Right, and, but can I say something too? Of course. His damage? I'm, Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I, I, I think oh, I found the issue. Go you ahead, say, D. Okay, I'm just gonna say you don't hear me complaining. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, and these guys and girls continue to get married. I don't get that. Like, and we're talking <laughs> many times over. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how many marriages has she had now? And right. and and they're actually still accepting, or she is. But I'm just saying they'll con- they continue to get married. Right. Yet they, I mean, what's she's going living on? proof. Of the Why power you? an attractive yeah. woman has over a simp. Why not just have some fun? Especially right. when you got, if you're on, so you've got you your say, own. Why not have some fun? Yeah. You say that, but listen, D, do you know as a human being of morality, if you're not wicked and trying to be bogus your whole life, you would hope to settle down with somebody who you spend time with. So if you're not given the information of what goes on in America and act on it, you're gonna wind up with a bitch you see. Right. You're just going to wind up, especially if she get pregnant and you young minded, you be like, I might well go and just try to be with her. Yeah. And shit ain't gonna never work. The only way you get a woman of anything is what Craig said. That's what I believe. If God has it in the plans for you, then you, you blessed and highly favored if that word ever means something because I know men do not know how to find a woman worth a goddamn dime. <clears throat> I think I find the issue. Uh-oh, not this one. I don't even know if he said interesting or issue. <laughs> what you say? I think I found the issue. Oh, the issue. The yeah. issue. Yeah, so I've researched it. It says J-Lo is definitely has more money than, 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 than Ben Affleck. That's Way more money, actually. That's what I thought. She yeah. worth like three times Three times more him. That's what's up. I'm going to look it up for myself while I'm editing. I'll put it on the screen right now because I'm kind of curious. Okay. And you and you know how it go if a bitch make more money than you. Shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, man, how do you know? Yeah. What? How, how does it go, Marcus? Marcus, uh, Marcus why are you saying being that Fleck is in any type of financial situation where he's with a bitch over money? No, I'm saying she got more money than him. He's one of the chosen ones. Right. He keeps working. There's some chosen actors that work until they die. Yeah, he's one of those for sure. That's yeah. fine. Him and his buddy. His buddy. So now, yeah. where did you find out J-Lo got more money? Because I, I seen the internet, and I seen what they say about my money. Yeah. I be fucking dying. Yeah. Oh.
the, the, the internet is not a reliable source of information. No, right. now, I'm not here to say J Lo has less money than Ben. That's not for me to say. I don't know what kind well, of money. She got money a lot J-Lo of endorsements got. and shit too, though. I don't know what kind of money J Lo got. I, but I, I I know that Ben Affleck will be a working Hollywood actor forever, unless he marry a black lady or something. Right. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. the only motherfucker did that shit was Robert De Niro. Yeah. That motherfucker still work, and he liked the motherfucking. And that new guy who I just <laughs> what is his name? I'm saying it's like all you guys who are in a situation with a girl where you know you have absolutely no authority, no respect, the shit is straight damaged. You may not have the strength to pull away, but I'm telling you, the world is set up in this Western civilization where she gets to destroy you and every excuse will be made for her. So you know the situation you in right now. If you wanna stay in it, be down. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm telling you from experience. If you know the bitch ain't shit, cause you didn't have a father, did you? You didn't have no other side of the game talking to you. Please, just take into what I'm saying for consideration. If you know that bitch ain't shit, dog, you better get the fuck away from her because your legacy on this planet is in danger. Great point by Corey. One of the most important decisions that you can make on this planet is who you marry, which also aligns with who you choose to bring kids into this world with. It can make or break your life. You have to be extremely careful when picking your partner and those you choose to put a seed in. Having a girl that's about something, like I said something about a woman's kitchen is her hospital. I got so many responses from that because people know that shit is right. Like I heard from people I ain't heard from who say, damn, that shit was on point. And I'm saying, like, some of this information I be giving y'all, even though I'm a comedian, I'm trying to help you motherfuckers understand. Merging with a partner that's damaged. I'm not talking about money, like the one bitch said. The bitch say, oh, the bus driver got to own the bus. I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about mental damage that you know. You can't merge with that unless you mentally damaged and don't give a fuck about your legacy. If you're looking for a woman, you better look at how your woman do. Because if I can look on the internet and see your woman bust down, basically, and it's hard for me to respect your woman. I've actually said that on my channel before, that if you're interested in a woman and you can, like, Google her, say, for example, her IG name, and if you can do that and it brings up news, because that is very much possible, insert your favorite IG chick that you like. But the bigger point, and I agree with Mr. Holcomb as well, is that it's not only about looks. Too many times men just get caught up in looks and not looking into not only a woman's character, but her demeanor, her disposition. How morally sound is her? She's the type of person that's more likely to do the wrong thing if she has no opposition or she's likely to do the correct thing. How does she treat other people? Is she vindictive? Is she the type to always hold a grudge? These are small things that you have to take into consideration because as one gets older, they only become more of who they are. So if you think that this woman might be slightly petty when you're in your 20s, imagine how petty her ass will be in 40 and 50 and how much that energy might be directed towards you. But hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just a weed head talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comment. It's your Lord and Savior Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. You better squad. Yeah. Excuse me, bitches?